Hello YouTube and welcome to another Blender Python scripting tutorial. Previous time we made a distraction system, but as you remember in the end of tutorial we had this problem. I took a very quick look at the code today with fresh mind and I noticed that this line must be before deleting the dictionary object. So you just copy and paste it there and delete it under there so now when you do it it should uh, sorry wrong click. yeah but as you can see it returns no errors and works fine well today we're gonna make a kind of system yeah it's gonna be a system which I'm gonna select this object yeah. um, Firstly, I'm gonna make sure that now we at building zero, there are no buildings. So I'm gonna recall the buildings. This is gonna be building one. This is gonna be building three. This is gonna be building four. And this is gonna be building two. Why? Well, the thing is simple. Now we won't have building zero. Um, everything will be bigger numbers. So, uh, what will zero be? It will be a placeholder for to determine a no building. At the moment, it will mean that there is no building selected at this specific moment. So, what we're gonna do now is actually make a very basic script for this visual object. Um, I'm gonna do a very 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 basic thing. I'm gonna add OS sensor and Python script module mode. I'm gonna call it uh, index. I don't know for in indicator. It's kind of indicating. So um, this is gonna use another part of script and it's gonna be called um, builder index takes in count as argument and we will define owner again as we usually do so we'll execute here cube uh, dot builder index and uh, this is gonna be pretty basic thing um, as you know we have a this Visual reference parented to the to the placer to builder, so we can do a basic thing. We can access the builder here from here using uh, um, own dot parent. So um, builder is own dot parent, and now we can access its property. Um, so building is builder building and now what we can do is if building uh, own not visible is true else own not visible is false what this does is if the building uh, is a true number it's gonna be visible um, but this time I'm gonna check it differently if building is bigger than zero because uh, we d don't have anything in negative numbers later we won't have access to them but it's still better to make sure that everything is, is expected so now when we have this we don't see anything of course we're still unable to dispel, uh, destroy buildings and I don't want it to be so uh, you know or maybe we want the buildings to be disponable only at minus one. So I'm gonna re redo it to building, and at minus one you're gonna again see this, but it will be dispawn stage. Um, so I'm gonna. It's kind of what I'd prefer. There. Later we'll have a bit different system. Or well, okay. I'll leave it as it is right now 
later we'll have it only at zero yeah it's gonna be better okay so however now it's kind of working fine but one more thing that we could do um, we can make a map for building types it's gonna be a dictionary so I'm gonna call it a uh, this map which is gonna reference to visuals and uh, here we're gonna do the basic thing uh, well how to do it better I don't know you know let's say that we'll have a type list uh okay i'm gonna do it like this zero uh one two three and uh equals zero um four equals one what this actually means for you to understand it um I'm gonna call it place with shorter. So this means if the building property, uh, if I could click it, this building property is one, two, or three, then it's gonna use the first mesh, which in this case is gonna be cubic. But if it is one, then I'm gonna create. So I'm gonna call this zero, and uh, I'm gonna create. A duplicate and move it to layer 2 and there's all the screw data from it. okay I'm gonna move it to layer 3 actually and uh, or maybe to layer 5 where I have nothing yeah move it to layer where you have nothing and uh, let's rename this to place with one and uh, here as well so whenever uh, so we'll basically we'll replace the mesh but now how do we detect um, which of these to use I'm gonna firstly um, kind of split so I'm gonna loop through for uh, L in Wisma which is element in Wisma okay I'm gonna call uh, for E in Wisma um, E is list and uh, just like we did it before did we did we or not hey I don't remember you know. I even don't remember I think we used some it somewhere ah we used in miscellaneous I think or we maybe didn't use it. I even don't remember anymore. Huh. Somewhere we used the split function. I'm just trying to find a reference. Older reference. Okay. I think that we didn't use it. Yeah, so we need to. Uh, I'm gonna teach you new thing. It's split. So for um, e is equal a list for float a in this map. Uh, no, for uh, e n uh, end for example uh, in e um, and. Uh, so e dot split and comma here. Basically, this creates a list of floats which are being splitted by comma, and uh, this spa white space is going to be ignored. So I'm using it to make it uh, easier to read. Remember that in this case, you're never ever allow. It's going to not just work as expected. If you, for example, had two in here and here as well each number only once in the, those lists so once we have the um, list we can do check if building in int then own dot replace mesh so how do we call it um, 
placeviz plus str int. Um, I don't know if this takes in any more args. Oh yeah, it does. I think it was true and false. Well, I don't remember the right syntax. Why does it return error there? Wait, I'm gonna quickly check. Yeah, we have to do like this. Float a for float uh, for a like that. I think it was something like that. Yeah. So now it's not replacing correctly. Ow! Right. Wait. Um. Yeah, we must do it differently. Um, Wisma. I. First fact. Yeah, this is gonna work out. Um. So. What is it? Oh, right. I, uh, I'm worrying too fast. So, um, you must make a difference for them. This is just an example how to do it. I don't need the face under it. As well as this one. It's waste polygons. You must always keep low polygon. So yeah, here you can see how to do it. So. For the roads, in this case, we have a different placer than for uh, buildings, so you can kind of make as much references as you need. So, for example, I'm going to quickly make another reference for the church was building two. So I'm going to make something like this, go to the specific layer, I'm going to call this place with 2. And uh, I'm going to do shift dx2 and uh, call this place with 1 and uh, drag this up a lot like that. And now I'm going to kind of make a look at here and kind of um, scale this down a bit something interesting okay so we have a specific icon like um, preview for the church and then buildings has different one and the roads also has different one so yeah and this is how you make a um, separate indi index for the placer visual reference so that you can see before placing what type of building you're placing. And uh, I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to make its material use object color. And uh, for default I'm going to... Yeah, this color should be white. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna store multiple things in it. So with map i zero because I'm gonna create it be a list. I'm gonna quickly test if this works fine. So yeah. And uh, now those lists are gonna have two inputs. Second one is gonna be a list of three floats color. For example um, all the residential buildings will be red. One, zero, zero. All the um, public buildings will be orange. One, one, zero. Um, all the roads will be indexed gray. Zero point two, zero point two, zero point two. Great. So, and I'm gonna do own color is vismap i1 
and uh, let's see yeah it should return error because it takes in four arguments um, so one zero I'm gonna copy this line paste in plugin one in here paste in plugin two in here and the last imp argument will be one and it's still not working oh right sorry make sure you type everything down correctly and here you can see a working version of it each of them has different colors instead it's to even darker one so yeah this is how you make a nice visual presentation of um, your spawner so yeah and that's basically it and uh, in next tutorial we're gonna make we're gonna make a kind of we're gonna I don't know I'll think still think of this so thanks for watching and see you next time